This is Duke University. So far, by the downfall of the Iron Curtain and the Soviet Empire, uh, I think the different nationally oriented churches played an important role. I mentioned it in Poland uh, concerning the Catholic Church, uh, and also the Orthodox Church in some of the countries uh, uh, survived. And I think uh, they had a movement upwards uh, here, uh, I think as a center of orientation and so on and so on. Also, if we were looking to Eastern Germany, <coughs> I think there was a, a famous Leipzig Montagsgebet, Mandy prayer in Leipzig. It was done by the Protestant church. I think it was a sign of uh, uh, distance to communism. It played a very important uh, role here. It happened what also in Eastern Germany happened, that the importance of the religion nowadays, after such a long time of 1989 afterwards, is going down. I think they had a certain role in this in moving up, and also they are now in a certain way a victim of secularism, uh, which I think uh, might be also one of the problems uh, of our time. I'm going a step uh, backwards in general uh, for Europe. I think there was always a tendency that the political power wants to overtake uh, the religion and that the religion wants to overtake the political power. Uh, the so-called history of the Holy Am Roman Empire, this was what was uh, the organization within Europe afterwards in the Middle Ages, uh, I think, tried to do it. You can see it by this expression, Holy Roman Empire. I think the question for me is, which empire is ever holy? Uh, I have my doubts on this. Uh, but uh, that's, they tried to connect it with religion. Uh, and there was an ongoing battle, which was very impressive for centuries in Europe. Uh, who is deciding what? They even built up a theory, the so-called two swords theory. God gave, three versions, two swords to the Pope, and the Pope is giving one to the Emperor. God gave two swords to the Emperor, and he gave one to the Pope. Or the middle solution is, God gave one sword to the Pope, to the religion, and to the Emperor, uh, for the political questions. It was an ongoing battle uh, with a lot of consequences. It would be a long-lasting story if I'm telling you uh, the different outcomes still influencing uh, some philosophy, thinking, state theory, uh, and so on and so on. There's a history for sure, uh, but I think don't underestimate it, uh, the question who is overtaking uh, here what. That happened also, I have not yet mentioned the Protestants, uh, of the, because also here, um, besides the figure of Martin Luther, I think uh, they were very much influenced by the political power. I think uh, by the Saxonian uh, dukes and so on and so on, they were very much backed, and I think they were using it uh, as a power against the emperor. In brackets, emperor Catholic, and so far the state dukes uh, were Protestants, and so far I think uh, uh, it was done an ongoing battle. Then there was uh, the Treaty of Augsburg. Uh, uh, this is so-called uh, uh, principle cuius regio eius religio. Beg your pardon, but this is the original Latin sense. Who is in power is deciding the religion. Here you can see also this connection between politics and religion. I think what you are believing uh, uh, is decided uh, uh, by the state authority. Uh, for example, my family, some centuries ago, had to leave Hesse because they were Protestants, uh, and so far they went uh, to the Habsburg Empire, because in one part of the Habsburg Empire, uh, I think it was more tolerant. Uh, it had an interesting result. I think in this part, it is now a part which is divided between Czech Republic and Poland in the south, uh, Chichin is the name of the city, or Cheskin uh, in the Czech language. Uh, I think there was a rule uh, you can have both religions in one family, uh, and there was a tolerance, uh, I think, that you can keep your religion. But for the children, it was divided after the sex. In my family, if I'm going back, 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 grandfather, grand, grandfather, and so on and so on, 
All male were Protestants, and all female were Catholic. So far, the last example, the sisters of my father, my father was a Protestant, the sisters of my father, there were six sisters, they were all Catholic. Uh, there is one outstanding politician, it's a Polish one, with a beautiful name, Jerzy Busek, with a set, not with the S, I've written with an S. I think he's Protestant, his sisters are Catholic, and his aunts are Catholic, and so on and so on. It's a real nice story, I think. It's a product of tolerance, uh, with uh, solutions which are difficult to explain, but so it happened. Uh, it was obviously the right of the birth coming out of this or whatever, divided by sex. So that's also existing if you're asking about the role of religion in politics and uh, vice versa. Produced by Duke University. Online at duke.edu.